Hey boys and girls, it's Mrs. Pickup, and today you're going to be following along with me as we do some writing with our bat poem today. So please make sure that you have this bat poem and you're ready to follow along. You'll also need a pencil and you'll also need a highlighter or a yellow crayon or an orange crayon um, to help highlight as we go through our poem today. So you're going to notice the title of this poem is Bats. We have lots of blank spots here and I'm hoping that's where you can help me. So my friends, here's how the poem goes so far. Bippity boppity boo, mm, bat flew over, mm, bippity boppity, mm, mm, bat flew over, mm, bippity boppity, mm, Bat flew over, mm. so I need your help. Now, boys and girls, I'm gonna give you some clues that we'll also be using our sight words today. And that's gonna help us as we fill in the spaces. We'll also be doing some rhyming and even some really silly rhyming with our names. So the poem should sound like this. Bippity boppity boo. A bat flew over you. So I'm going to use the sight word a, as I carefully write that capital A on the line. I want it to say, a bat flew over you. And I'm gonna need help as I write the sight word and you write it with me. Our sight word is you, Y, O, U. A bat flew over you. I'm going to write carefully on the lines Y O U. And then it says bippity boppity B. We wanted to say B. Here's a sight word again. I'm going to pull it up to help me. Bippity boppity B. Let's write our lowercase b and e together. B-E spells B. Bippity boppity B. A bat flew over me. Let's again write our capital A as our sight word and our capital A starts our sentence. So A That flew over me. That's right. I want your help as we write our sight word me on the line. M E spells me. M E spells me. All right. Now here's the silly part where we're going to be rhyming with our names. So boys and girls, you're going to notice the next line says bippity boppity. Mm. That's where you're going to write your name. Now, Mrs. Pickup, I'll show you that I will write my name here. You're not going to be writing Mrs. Pickup. You're going to be writing your name at home. And please write nice and neat on the line. If you have a long name like me, you might notice you start to run out of space just a little bit, but do your best. Bippity boppity, Mrs. Pickup. A, I'm going to use my sight word A once more as I put a capital A to start my next sentence. A bat flew over. Mm. I need your help thinking of a silly word that rhymes with Mrs. Pickup. Now I'm gonna be working on my last name to see what rhymes with pickup. I've learned that rhyming words sound the same at the ending, and sometimes you can change just the beginning sound so that your word will rhyme. What if I drop the p in pickup and I add a like hot? Then my word will become hiccup. Mrs. Hiccup 
wait a minute, that's a silly name, but it rhymes, doesn't it? Bippity boppity, Mrs. Pickup. A bat flew over, Mrs. Hiccup. <laughs> there we go, there's my rhyming word. Mrs. Hiccup. So I dropped the P in my name and I added an H, but the rest of my name is still spelled the same. H-I-C-K-U-P. Now, boys and girls, remember, you're writing your real name up here, but then the silly rhyming name comes down below. So I have bippity boppity, Mrs. Pickup. A bat flew over, Mrs. Hiccup. Now, I want to use some names as examples to help you guys at home. So if I have a friend whose name might be Sam, I might do this. I might get some practice. And if I'm rhyming with Sam, then my poem would say, Bippity boppity Sam, a bat flew over. Hmm. Did you notice what I did with my name? I dropped the beginning sound and I changed the letter to make a new word and it rhymes. So I'm going to drop the s in Sam. And what if instead I add the sound p? So my new name, if I'm using Sam as an example, would become P Am. So then the poem would read, Bippity Boppity Sam, a bat flew over Pam. All right, and that's a silly rhyme, isn't it? Let's do another one just for an example. If I have a name like Owen, Instead of dropping the O, because O is a vowel, you might add a sound to your name and double check that it still rhymes. So if I want to add a sound, I might add the sound B, B, and I know that's a letter B. And now my rhyming name becomes Bowen. So here's how the poem would sound. Bippity boppity, Owen. A bat flew over, Bowen. <laughs> All right, so boys and girls, just a couple examples of how to do some rhyming with your name. And we also got some great practice with sight words too. Now, if you remember, Mrs. Pickup asked you to grab a highlighter or you can use a color crayon as a highlighter, a light color, please, like light yellow or a light pink or a very light orange. And we can look through our poem and find all of these awesome rhyming words. Tell me when to stop when you hear some words that rhyme. Bippity boppity boo, a bat flew over you. <gasps> stop, okay, okay. What did you guys hear at home? Did you hear boo? And you, those are rhyming words. All right, I might just highlight the first letter in each word. Boo and you are rhyming words. Let's keep going with our poem. Bippity boppity bee, a bat flew over me. Stop, again? Okay, what did you hear? That's right, B and me are rhyming words. I'm gonna highlight the B in B and the M in me. There's two rhyming words right there. Here comes our silly name rhymes. Bippity boppity Mrs. Pickup. A bat flew over Mrs. Hiccup. There we go, Mrs. Pickup and Mrs. Hiccup rhyme. There we go. I'm going to highlight these letters here. And boys and girls, I'm gonna give you some thinking time right now. 
after you write your name, I'm gonna give you some thinking time to either change the beginning sound in your name, like the example with p pick up and hiccup, or I'm gonna give you some thinking time as you add a sound to your name. If your name starts with a vowel, for example, like Owen, you can add a different sound like Bowen or Woen or Zoen. All right, so I will let you have fun and rhyme with your name. Now, boys and girls, please put these poems in a very safe place at home because tomorrow you'll be using these poems as you follow along with Mrs. Cleason and watch her video as you put an art project of a bat together with this poem to make a beautiful decoration and some fun writing that you can hang up for Halloween. So remember, keep these in a nice safe place, have fun rhyming, and maybe go read it over to your mom or dad or grandma, grandpa, a teacher, brother, sister, somebody at home and see if they can help find some rhyming words with you. All right, boys and girls, have fun. Great job and say bye to Mrs. Hiccup. I mean, Mrs. Pickup. Oops. Bye, friends.